Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Melanie from Orange Umbrella Co. Today we are here to go over releases for June 8th. So we're gonna have two kits and the mystery kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and plop a little teaser of the mystery kit in there so we can get that out of the way. This is one of the hardest teaser photos I've ever made, if not the absolute hardest, because I wanted to give a good feeling for the colors, palette, theme without giving too much away. And that little background image was, I was having a hard time. So I was struggle bus. This, if you guys have the same like opinions on kits that I do, this one is definitely one you're gonna wanna grab because I'm for sure grabbing it. Okay, other kits, 251 we have petals so we have officially moved into august themed kits now so these will fit in that late summer vibe that you will probably have going in your planner at that time so this one is available in daily and weekly formats so i just could not resist this palette there's something about that forest green and that orange that's like almost a red that i just i had to have the little buttery yellow makes it a lot of fun so just a unique and different color palette that i wanted to try and see what you guys thought so here are the full box options and i swear since i have been pulling the tpc full boxes to go with the regular sized full boxes they've all been the same Sometimes they're different though. So I'm gonna continue to do this. And I know that you guys like our square full boxes. So it's always helpful to kind of see what is happening. So there is the small washi and the deluxe washi. So here's a close up of the small washi. This is coming on my viewfinder. It's very washed out, but it's, I'm trying to look at it too. It's almost got like little waves of lighter green and darker green. Anyway, that one is just a simple little pattern there. I think that might be a spaz hair. Okay, moving on. The deluxe washi close-up is here. All right, and then we've got your label sheet and a couple of the date cover options and then the deco and deco journaling. So, let's slide these out of the way is available with clear matte i really hesitated on this one because the yellow is pretty light but i just i loved it i thought the flowers would be fun little deco options so i went ahead and went for it but just keep that in mind the yellow is light so if you put it on like a hobonichi paper or something it may not have a ton of contrast so all right add on sheets we've got basic labels stitched labels, doodle icons, notes and headers, the functional sheet and the mixed label sheet. And then thick washi. I'm gonna zoom in on that cause it looks really busy from far away. So it's two rows of florals on each one of those strips. And then here is the extra date option. And then the Hobonichi cousin is here. So there's sheet one and sheet two, and then the extra label sheet, and then your daily duo and plum daily date covers and the washi headers for that one. All right, so let's move in to 252. So this one is called Almost Autumn. This palette, you guys, I, I just, I had to it's beautiful it's got a it's got so it's got butterflies and it has um some like apple type situations and some floral so i kind of struggled with when this would work and i asked one of my best friends like what does this remind you of and she said autumn and or before prior to autumn like august type and i was like i could totally do that so those are the sampler sheets and full box sheets i'm gonna have to zoom you guys in on these because i just can't even handle a couple of the pieces of art we have books like we have to have books cute little hedgehog little you know what and i'm not a huge butterfly fan i'm gonna go ahead and throw it out but there's something about these and the colors with the little moth and butterfly that are just stunning and then here's the kind of apple picking theme that I was alluding to. So we've got small washi and deluxe washi. That one's in my hands. So we're going to pick that one up first. Again, so fun little apples, florals, can never have enough plaid. 
and then the small washi sheet. I love the watercolor look on some of those that Lindsay has been bringing into her kits. So fun. All right, label options and date cover options and deco and journaling options. This was another one I kind of struggled with deciding on whether to do clear matte or not because the insides of those apples and the hedgehog are pretty light, but I thought, you know what, why not? It's just, it's, clear matte is just so stinking pretty. And speaking of, we are discontinuing our clear glossy stickers and switching everything over to the clear mat. So the clear glossy will be going into clearance and we're gonna go ahead and automatically make clear mats for everything that's already listed. So if you have not purchased clear stickers from us because you want them in matte, they will be available now. And I think that the clearance stuff will hang around for a while because we have quite a bit of stock of some of them. Okay add-on listings we've got our basic labels stitch labels doodle icons notes and headers and our functionals mixed labels thick washi and date dots Let's stick these up okay and then the hobonichi cousin there is sheet one and sheet two and the extra labels. And then I did grab the Hobonichi Weeks for this one. So there is sheet one on that one and sheet two. And then the Daily Duo and Plum Daily option. So there's what the date covers look like and your little washi headers. So super fun. Okay, that is it from me this week. I will be back next week and we will be going over, oh gosh, what are we doing next week? 250, yeah, 253 and 254. Holy cow. All right, so I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will talk to you again soon.